Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new Man Law video. I haven't done one in a while, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to uh, do one while I'm on the road. And the title for this one is, I can't remember it. <laughs> I just got done having Arby's, so I still got, the, still got that food in my mind. What was the video going to be about? Oh, there you go. Came to me. Um, the youth are always watching. Um, I, uh, this is a topic I came up with uh, some time ago, and I've been thinking about, you know, I've done, you know, I, I like to do videos on, you know, um, you know, being good role models uh, for young boys, and um, something I wanted, I just want to serve, want this video to serve as a reminder to many, to many of you men out there, the youth are always watching, um, you know, young, you know, little boys, uh, teen, young teenage males, even I even include um, little girls and. You know, uh, young, you know, young, um, young women in this, um, in that, in that group, because everything you do, they see, and they will use it. They will use it as examples on how to behave um, when they can't make certain decisions on their own. They're gonna think about, well, I remember so and so did this, so maybe, uh, maybe I'll do that and see how it works out. Um, you want to be cautious to how, as, to, as to how, especially parents. Especially parents, you want to be cautious as to how you act around um, around young people. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video for men is because, you know, as as been pointed out, there seems to be this, um, or at least we seem to see more and more of it, this under unappreciation, uh, um, this unappreciation for the for the for men's efforts um, in our in our current society. Uh, a lot of things that you know, it's you know, a lot of there's a lot of you know, woman power, a lot of girl power, but not so much of a celebration of man power. Or, or boy power, the things that um, young, you know, young boys or young men bring to the table when it comes to um, you know many things that young people experience, um, such as you know sticking up for one another, uh, helping you know helping people who are you know, less fortunate, or and that's it. And that's it. That stuff isn't done now because um, a lot of young people are actually are very uh, they are very, they're probably more so more very, maybe more so caring than. Uh, than some older people because I think it's because they're more idealistic. But what can happen is that their a lot of their, their idealism could you know lead them astray, and it, that can easily be done because they don't they may not have uh, they may not have a masculine influence to guide them in the right direction. And I say masculine because I think uh, masculinity uh, plays a big role in you know, in, the, in the development of of uh, young adults, especially young boys. Because it teaches them um, whether whether or not to you know when is when it is appropriate to have you know a certain amount of emotions on certain on certain issues and when to you know put that aside for a bigger goal um, for you know for a long term goal for a long you know for the long game um, and you know how to delay instant gratification how to delay instant gratification and how to go through pain how to go through hard times because it'll make them stronger in the end. And I think, man, I believe masculinity can teach a lot of young men that, um, especially ones who are who grown up in uh, who grown up in broken homes. Um, you know, they don't have there's no father in the picture, or or worse, the, fa the father is weak. And you know, there are a lot of weak fathers out there. Um, I, I know of I know of some, and you know it's. You know, I don't know. There's always a saying. You know, a bad example is better than better than no example. But I don't know because that's that's still that's still a toss up in the air. Um, you know, I understand a lot. Of, you know, there are a lot. Of, there are a lot of uh, men out there who are coaches, who are community leaders, who are uh, teachers, pastors, what have you. And I want to say, you guys, you know, keep up the good work and um, keep walking that thin line because it's, it is easy to fall off to one side to where you know you can make a mistake. Um, for being careless, I'm going back to what uh, what Vito Corleone said. Uh, you know, men can't be you know women, men can't be careless because so much rides on the work that they do. So much is resting on their shoulders. They can't afford to be careless. And with that is, and, and with that you know with that that saying, talk about men, you know the behavior that men have. You know, and it can be and it's something that can be discouraging to try to you know to you know when is appropriate to be masculine. I think it's always appropriate to be masculine. I think our our society needs it. It is getting it in small doses, but um, I think it needs it overall and day-to-day -day life, and and you know, for, you know, for more days in the future. And 
I think it would, it, would do, it would do all of us a lot of good if we have a lot if you have a lot more men who are just being more mindful of how they act, especially around young people, because they're they always going to pick up on those examples. They're always going to pick up on the behavior that uh, um, that older men above them exhibit. Um, you know, whether it be for because you know they're trying to learn how to handle situations on their own, or they maybe you know, maybe to try and find some type of acceptance. You know, so they'll they'll take on those same traits to fit in with other groups and um, that can lead you know that can go that can go either way but let's stress let's try to make sure that we're um, we're helping young men um, go in the right direction we're helping boys uh, move in the right direction so that they'll be so that they'll be better men they'll be better men than us as they get older and they can continue that trend you know, there's always there's always something that that uh, men can improve on there's always something that uh, masculinity will can be you know, introduced to improve upon to keep things, you know, keep things you know, invigorated and um, keep them resilient to you know, a lot of changes that happen in society. Because masculinity is always coming, it's always coming to, uh, you know, it's always coming up to this, you know, this, 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 uh, this train of thought that oh, we don't need mask, we don't need these over masculine. You no, know, they say over masculine, but really it's just masculinity, you know, just be, just being itself. Um, but we don't need these over masculine examples. Maybe we need to have maybe, you know, maybe boys need a bit more femininity. No, they don't. They don't. They need, they need better control of their emotions, which masculinity would, would, would teaches them that. Um, and the very and the, the best way that can be done is men, as of right now, be mindful of the things they say and the things they do, especially around younger people, because as I said before, they're going to pick up on that. And one thing you don't want to be made out to be is a hypocrite. Once, because I learned, I know that once a young person pins you to be, pin, you know, pins you out to be a hypocrite, then they think it's all fair game, and we get used to a lot less hypocr you know, hypocrisy nowadays. Even myself, I have to be mindful of the things I do and things I say around, um, you know, people who work underneath me at, um, at one of my jobs, or people who, you know, people who follow me. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't be labeled as a hypocrite. You know, I'd rather be labeled as a dumbass than be labeled as a hypocrite. Um, well, it probably sucks to be able to be the one, but at least with um, at least with being a dumbass, there's no um, there's no moral uh, there's no moral deficiency in that. Uh, I guess in that aspect. But please, tell me what you think? Um, do you, are you, you know, are you a shining example for many young people nowadays? Do you know some people who need to you know need to polish up with their masculinity, need to polish up with their behavior because young people are watching? I'd love to see your I'd love to see your comments. Uh, right now I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. Well, I'm on my way to, to head to Manning. That's why the truck is running. Also, because I know you guys like the sound of that 6.2. And um, I just want to do a quick video before I continue back on the road. Uh, I hope you guys have a safe Christmas. Hope we have a happy Christmas. Um, and I hope you guys uh, continue to take care of each other. Any gripes, complaints, send me a PM. I still like to be them. Uh, I hope to have a few more videos before the year is up. Uh, 2017 has been a very interesting year for me. And I look forward to 2018. But that's my video. Let's see, uh, man, law. Uh, <laughs> uh, the youth are always watching. I'm Edward Jones, and you guys take care.